I honestly don't know what to say anymore. Most of you don't care what I've actually done and you continue to argue it like a tall poppy syndrome. We get it, your common law and everything is better than the, the truth. We get it, you're trying to get out of shit all the time instead of look at who you are as a people. I just see the argumentative comments all the time and a lot that I've deleted because facetious and attacking. You don't want to look. And the YouTube hero and your failed senators and your failed representatives, you'd prefer to argue all that stuff all the time instead of actually look at what's happened to your country and who did it to you. You have a pushed immigration into your land, increasing the balance of not knowing on behalf of a government that's trying to undermine and divide you further in a bid to enslave you into some digital society that is far, far removed from the very constitution itself, from the very constitution itself. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm literally at a loss for words when I see the continued cycle of rhetoric. It's all it is. It's just rhetoric. Now I've laid out very clearly who you are as a people and I've laid out very clearly what you can do about it to change the future of your country. And instead of actually paying attention, you want to research further and continue to argue and pull down each other in a tall poppy syndrome. I don't get it. Do you like being in the bottom of the barrel all the time fighting with all the other fish in the barrel? Because that's about the sum of what you've come to as a people, as a people. And there's nothing anybody can do about that. You choose to be like that instead of unite, stand together and speak in a voice that you were given by forefathers, lest ye forget. Now, the bottom line is, is you forgot. It's gone. It, it won't come back until you realize that you've forgotten and you need to remember something. I can't keep going around in circles back to the beginning every time while very few people gather, while very few people learn. You're, you're too swept up in the media hype and the political bullcrap that is spoken about on a daily basis. And instead of dealing with the problem you have at hand, you'd prefer to deal with all the hype that's going on around you. And you don't seem to realize that the stage that you're on is being played in front of you to keep you in that cycle of uselessness, total uselessness. These politicians are not going to fix your country. These politicians work for a bankruptcy administrator that is administering the demise of your currency, the demise of your country. You will own nothing. Are you enjoying it yet? Gold has gone up to $3,800 this morning. That's another $100 an ounce in the last 48 hours. This is a stark reality of your currency being overtaken by a monetary supply that is collapsing very, very quickly before your eyes. And when you finally realize that this government and Albanese have been trying to undermine you and continue to undermine you by attempting to teach your very own children 
to give up the foundations in their very own constitution and hand it over to a minority population. It is this government that is racist. It is this government that is committing an actual criminal offence called apartheid. Apartheid, which is against international law. I don't seem to see any change in any of you as you continue to bite at the research instead of being and becoming the people you are supposed to be in international law, to step up above and out of this circle of, it's a cycle of benign, useless rhetoric. It's up to all of you to realize that I have done something. It is on the courtroom record. The police are very well aware of the standing that I put on that courtroom record and you still argue it like I shouldn't have it, like I didn't do it, like it's not real, like you need have it yourself instead of unite with the rest of us a small group that could be very large. You continue with this common law uselessness, not realising that the common law is upheld by the Supreme Court of Queensland, the Supreme Court of your state. The common law is the common law of your family estate, and you are wards to the state and therefore not afforded the common law as you are pushed with statute law, the law of property, the law of property. You are the property of the state where they are your guardian in chief. And I can't keep explaining this to you. You want to argue like children, you want to act like children, and it leads to lunacy, a delusion. You are taking part in what could be considered a great delusion pushed on you by the likes of Malcolm Roberts and One Nation and all the other parties, Craig Kelly, Senator Babette. I mean, they're all the same. They know that you are children. They speak down to you like you are inept. They are your guardians because you're incapable of seeing the reality of what's going on. They continue to try and undermine your constitution with a voice they now want to educate to your children in schools so that in the next generation they can come along and pull the plug on the blessing of Almighty God given to you by your ancestors and demonstrated in the Hall of Memory in Canberra in Canberra. You have foreign, foreign linked politicians that speak on behalf of a bankruptcy administration after the demise of your currency 1965 and you still argue with them instead of push them to uphold the international laws that they as an international bankruptcy administrator are obligated to. And this includes Rule 92 on forced procedure. And you don't even stand together for that. The jibby jabbed your entire military, your entire medical institutions, and the police. And you can't even get your heads around that being a heinous international war crime to be able to unite together, to stand up for yourselves. You're all better than each other. You're all common law fools trying to get out of trouble instead of stand united and say to a governing body, no, we have a right of self-determination in international law at which we see you for what you are. We see who you work for. We see the oath that you took, we see the 
foreign administration that it is. You, you are not standing up in any self-determination and instead continuing to show your dependence on while you tall poppy anybody else that stands up and demonstrates something to you at law. At law. You know better. And it's very tiring to watch the rhetoric continue. I mean, some of the comments that I have received are just blatant nastiness because you're the failure. Now, I played audio from a police station. Fixated persons unit attacked a pregnant woman in Victoria. And you can't even add two and two together as you continue years later to think that you're better than everyone else. And how are we supposed to move forward if you're all better than everyone else? You're not united in a solution. You're not united in fixing your country. You're argumentative over things like the voice instead of standing in a full unity as a country and the people that you truly are underneath what is a bankruptcy administration after the demise of your currency, 1965. And I can't keep speaking education. I'd like to stand up and speak on your behalf instead of educate you to be the people you should be. It's gone. Lest you forgot. Well, you have forgotten. And therefore, you can't remember. And therefore, you can't bring it back. And therefore, you'll continue to argue with politicians that seek to undermine you on a daily basis with things like climate change and jibby-jabbies. I don't know what to say anymore when the clear-cut case is that they committed an international criminal offence doing the when they are a foreign bankruptcy administration under some serious and heavy international rules. Ring DFAT and ask them if they're obligated to the Hague Conventions. And what you'll discover is, is that they're locked in so deep into those conventions they must follow them to the letter of the law. And that's where they will come undone if you lot can actually get your shit together. And I don't see it happening as you continue to argue over who's better, as you continue to get onto the YouTubes and, and promote your political ideologies instead of stand in the foundations that God gave you, instead of stand in the foundations that God gave you, lest ye forgot. Well, if you can't remember, where is it? It's gone. And that's the bottom line, really. If you can't remember, you can't bring it back. It's gone. If you can't stand united for it, you don't know what it is. If you can't be a people, then you are not united. You are not one people. You are not one country. You rely on people like One Nation to speak on your behalf because you're dependent on them and their reserve bank currencies. You, you just continue to argue. And for that, you will lose. You will lose it all. You'll own nothing. And you never took that threat, that actual technical threat, for what it was. You never stood up and said, hang on a second, are you trying to take everything from me? No, you argued over a fine. You argued over being a sheriff. You argued over creating common law courts. You argued over all these things that technically cannot exist at law without any foundation at law in your gods. Whereas the people of the colonies agreed to unite in one indissoluble federal commonwealth under the blessing of Almighty God, under a kingdom forged by your ancestors 
and then under a constitution hereby established, God, King and Country. Your ADF now sign oaths to a country, a nation state, and you forgot your God and your King. You forgot your God and your King, lest ye forget in the lineage of your fathers. And you don't act in that line. You don't stand up for that lineage. You don't speak in kind. You argue with each other and create tall poppy syndromes and believe that you're better than everyone else while attempting to get on every media channel speaking your lies. And they are lies because of your own ignorance. You have no idea of the foundations of your country and therefore the pug gets pulled and it all gurgles down the drain and is gone forever. They are now teaching your children to accept and embrace the voice because you, as parents of your children, haven't educated them on who they are and where their lineage and their ancestry is found in a country, in God, King and Country. You have disrespected and disregarded everything your Anzac ever did and therefore let it go to the wayside. And I can't change that. That's in all of you. That's in all of you. And it's up to you to realise finally when gold is now approaching 3,000 plus, 4,000 plus an ounce, the demise of your cash is coming fast. And while these politicians sell you into the further arguing over a cashless society, you have failed the lineage of your ancestors. You have failed your constitution and therefore aren't in it. Therefore aren't in it. Are dependent as wards of the state to the state. Lest ye forgot. Well, you forgot. And you keep arguing the rhetoric of politics. You keep arguing common law that doesn't exist. You don't understand the common law of your family estate versus the statute law of property. You don't understand how wards of state are held as state property. You don't understand how justices in those courtrooms are fully aware of your foundations at law. I don't know what to say anymore. You can keep this going and you will own nothing. You can keep this going and you will be treated as mental health patients. You can keep this going and the federal government will not stop pushing mental health at you. This is very evident after the incident that happened last week. They haven't stopped on their mental health line because you're all wards, lunatics, paupers to the state who have no idea of the foundations from where you come from. And because of that, you will remain those lunatics and deluded at law deluded at law. If you don't want to accept what's happened and what has been done, then I can't change your mind. If you want to continue arguing with each other and tearing each other down because you're not good enough and you don't stand up next to those that have stood properly at law, then I can't help you any further. You have failed very clearly to raise a federal red ensign as a people, as a people. And there's nothing I can say further about that if you want to continue arguing with politicians instead of standing in the self-determination that is your right in international law while all of these politicians work on behalf of a foreign bankruptcy administration 
in this country after the demise of the currency. We spoke about these things. Wah, wah, wah. It's not Senator Barbet's fault. Yes, it is. He's promoting a cash society to you after the demise of your currency in the Currency Act 1965. He is perpetuating the slavery and the wardship that you are in because he knows full well that you're incapable and incompetent children. Incompetent. Incompetent. This is a reality check that you all need to recognize and realize. You are incompetent and a judge will see you as deluded because you can't anchor your foundations with God and define your very self in the whole entire game. You're a common law sheriff. This is LARPing. This is mimicking. This is imitation of. And that's actually a criminal offence. I can ma mention names, but I won't. It's time for you all to realize that your common law rhetoric is a failure. And the people that have been leading you into that common law rhetoric are responsible, responsible, and have actually committed criminal offenses against you. Criminal offenses against you by lying to you and not educating you on the line of authority found in the blessing of Almighty God, left to you by your ancestors so that you could stand up in the future in self-determined capacity as provided to you under international law. This is the only way you can point the finger at people like Malcolm Roberts, Barbette, Craig Kelly, Pauline Hanson, and so on. John Howard, Malcolm Turnbull, Tony Abbott, for the war crimes that they commit on a daily basis inside a bankruptcy administration called the Australian Government. It is not the Parliament of the Commonwealth of Australia as defined in the very Constitution itself. They have no line of authority as defined in the very Constitution itself. And you go arguing common law like you are outside of your very own constitution. It demonstrates that you are playing a game of delusion and that you are deluded as to knowing where you came from and who you are. And I can't keep going around in circles. What has been sealed at law has already been sealed at law, and you only find a way to argue that. Oh, he didn't do that. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, that's wrong. Well, a judge didn't think it was wrong. Fixated persons, New South Wales, didn't think it was wrong. It's the attracting all of the fools around that pull the tall poppies down that you need to be concerned with, not the actual foundations defined on the Supreme Court record, not the foundations recognised by fixated persons units or anti-terrorism squads around the country. And this should be quite evident after an attack on a Christian man, a religious attack. The country has religious foundations at which you seek to undermine in your very own ignorance. And I can't keep going on like this. It's stupid to even try to do so on behalf of a bunch of people that like to tear each other down and be as divided and disunited as you could possibly be. You're all heroes. You're all better than. We call you better thans. Because that's all you try to be, is better than. Instead of standing up and being the best you, you can be. The best you, you could be, 
never happens because you spend all your time and energy arguing and whining over the things that other people have founded and forged in law. You can't undo those things. This is a stark reality. You can't undo those things when judges agree with those things. It is for you to grow up, learn and become the best people you can be. This is the only way you're going to beat them is to be the best people you can be instead of arguing like little children against a nanny state, believing that you can change a nanny state in your very own houses. A nanny state in your very own commonwealth that you fail to recognise as that nanny, as that nanny looking after your affairs in your own incompetences.